here we are back again youtubers uh, this is the finished product now we have to do a little cleanup and everything all these parts are going to get a bath before we fix them together as you can see we got our 10 inch pot set in place everything's connected the uni seals went in just fine a little bit of uh, plumber's grease made that work real smooth uh, you don't need a lot you know I think I used about a teaspoon of plumber's grease on this whole project when you take these circles out of your lids I recommend you hold on to these things these are going to come in handy uh, if you have to run an empty pot for some strange reason uh, you can keep that thing covered up and keep things out of there okay. this project went uh, along real fine uh, everything together smoothly we got a nice good fit I set this little tape measure down here to show you 32 inches it's a pretty good division we're not too far off we did really good on our measurements here uh, 32 inches will run three scrog nets on this 32 inches a piece and uh, they'll fit in there just about perfect uh, we'll do a, a YouTube video putting that together uh, we'll try to keep stuff rolling out here for you guys. I need to add my uh, three-quarter inch hose fitting in here and plus I think I'm going to remodify this. I don't like the where that's hanging down that far like that. Uh, we may turn it and bring it straight out. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you'll see it when it's done. Uh, obviously we put this larger unit in here to uh, give us the storage for our reserve and this made a really nice little six dollar tub here I believe pretty sure it was uh, Home Depot uh, this is a really man this thing is tough this thing is like it's reinforced lid and I'm telling you that's a cast iron little thing I thought about running with just that uh, but you know I wanted to get up to uh, somewhere around probably about 10 gallons per tub I'm guessing maybe a little bit more maybe uh, closer to, to uh, about 15 maybe if we go to this there's lines here and it wouldn't surprise me if those lines are pretty close to around uh, six or seven gallons each and so we might be able to get up around 12 to 15 gallons per unit that would give us around 36 to 45 in those and this one I believe is pretty good size little tub here I think it's about 10 or 12 and this one is a pretty large tub as well so we should be getting close to our 50 or 60 gallon uh, ideal range here to give us some stuff uh, you know you've seen videos on how to cut circles uh, I just bought a really nice little unit I bought a really nice little unit at uh, Lowe's for like six or seven bucks. We have a lot of these little bugs here. He was just pestering me. That's what you see me doing. They're very pretty. They, I thought they were pine beetles, but they're actually beetles that just eat dead trees. Uh, and so, as you can see, this would come in handy to save your circles. I did save all my circles this, for this one purpose. Um, a little bit of adjusting here and there to get everything leveled out. Uh, but once it's set in place, we'll get her adjusted really nice. We're because of the size of our storage containers and being able to access from the front of the unit here. Uh, you know, we want to be able to come in at the the entrance of our tents. We got two doors on there uh, where we can check one, check two, and uh, so we did lose a little bit of our spacing we may be able to adjust that forward considerably and get closer to the center on these larger uh, tubs and we'll see how that goes um, I spaced these about six inches apart uh, I may adjust that just a little bit I when you cut your PVC make sure you allow some room for to make these adjustments see I got plenty of uh, PVC in here to adjust the the fit and so we will make the proper adjustments we'll measure this way measure that way 
Uh, but like I said, everything gets a bath before it goes into the to the tent. Uh, we've been blasting the tent with ozone for a few days now. Uh, the levels are uh, extremely high in there and nothing living can survive in that type of environment. Ozone is an ex excellent uh, odor protection system. Uh, if you run it at, at low levels, uh, the units we use are, uh, we have all the way from small units that plug into the wall socket, uh, just a little bitty box, about twice the size of a cigarette pack. Uh, that will literally uh, clean the air in the whole room and, and keep everything smelling nice and rosy. Uh, all the way up to I have some industrial units that I use to put in there and it will literally vaporize any insects or eggs or anything that are left behind. Uh, nothing lives and so they're basically just ozone blasters, you know. Uh, and so uh, it's it's safe don't worry about that kind of stuff you know I've heard too many arguments I worked in the ozone industry for for quite a while and ozone is safe you just don't want to stick your head in a bag with it uh, and so don't be worrying about that kind of stuff just use a small unit that's going to uh, be big enough and only turn it up high enough to where the air starts to smell fresh and you'll be just fine uh, we'll do some demos on that kind of stuff I have several different units I can show you uh, and uh, they're all residential and so I do have a couple commercial units too but uh, these things are designed to run in your house I run them in my house all the time to keep the air fresh the, the mold spores and all that kind of stuff are dead uh, and so uh, we won't have any kind of problems uh, net pots I got these really cheap they weren't nearly as expensive I think I bought uh, about 10 of them for uh, 20 or 30 bucks. I didn't pay a whole lot for them. I got a really good deal on them on eBay. And so uh, everything fits. We got it all nice. We got everything spaced about 32 inches. We're going to put three scrog nets in here. Some of you will only want to run uh, two uh, tubs. I'm going to run three with two plants per pot. We got uh, two adults here in the house so we can have six flowers in bloom and uh, so that's not too bad we're going to beef up the variety here and so we'll be talking to you all later I'll show you this again once we get her set in the tent and put together and so with that being said this is Johnny TH Seeds and we'll catch you on the flip side <laughs>